Hey friends, today we are going to be painting our planets. Everybody should have a paper like this where we traced all of the circles in the sizes that our planets are. If you don't have this, I will get you caught up as soon as I can. Um, you should have all of your circles labeled. Remember, we have a super extra large circle for Jupiter, a kind of large circle for Saturn, two large circles for Uranus and Neptune, two medium circles for Venus and Earth, and two small circles for Mercury and Mars. If your circles are not labeled that way, we need to fix that because we wanna make sure that each planet has the right size and colors. So you guys are going to be looking on the board to make sure you're using the right colors. And I am going to show you guys how we're going to add our watercolor to our planets. So each planet has a different set of colors, right? And since they're smaller, we need to use smaller paint brushes. So we have smaller paint brushes. I have a different paint palette for you that has some more warm colors. We have brown, yellow, orange, red, orange, red, red, violet, blue, violet, and blue, I think. Um, and you notice there's not any green and we know that earth has green. So how are we gonna do that? You can take these colors and mix them, but not in the actual color pan. If you want to mix your colors, you can always use this space right here, or you can get a palette from your paint basket and use one that's relatively clean. If you need to clean it, that's fine, but you can use these little circles, which I'm actually gonna do just to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm dipping my brush in water first. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in there so I know that it's nice and wet. I'm going to pick up some yellow and put it in there. See, it mixed with the water and spread out a lot. I'm going to clean off my brush so I don't have any more yellow on there. I'm gonna put some water onto my blue and bring just a tiny bit of that blue over here to make a green. So now I have a green to put onto my earth, which I'm actually going to do first. I'm going to start making a shape. I kind of know what our side of the world looks like. So I'm trying to make a vague North America, Middle America and South America shape and painting it in. You see how I'm making sure that the paint stays inside of that shape. I'm having to drag the paint around a little bit just to make sure it fills up all of the spaces. And I went outside of my circle a little bit, but that's okay because we're going to cut it out. All right, I'm not as familiar with what the other side of the world looks like, but I'm just gonna put some green shapes over here just so that I know where that is. All right. So I have my green shapes for the earth. I'm going to rinse my paintbrush off. Since I'm filling in a bigger space, maybe I wanna use a slightly bigger paintbrush. Again, I'm gonna get it nice and wet. I'm gonna put the water onto that blue watercolor. And I'm gonna come in and try to fill up that circle as much as I can. You're going to run into the green shapes. That is totally okay. Just don't cover them up. We wanna still be able to see where the green is. It's also okay if there's different types of blue in there. So where there, I have a lot of paint, it's much darker, and where I don't have a lot of paint, it's much lighter. And that's okay because our oceans have parts that are deep and parts that are not so deep. So some parts are darker than others. So I'm running out of paint. I could go dip more paint or I could just take my brush, dip it in some water and smooth that water around. And then I can maybe even blend it into those green areas. Make it look a little bit more pretty. I like the blended watercolor look. So I have one planet done. My earth is done. And I only used a tiny bit of paint. I don't need that green anymore. So I can just leave it or I can go rinse it out. The other planets are mostly, well, that's a lie. 
These two are cool colors. They have some blue and green, which we'll need that for. But the other one, two, three, four, five planets have these warm colors. So that's what we're going to use it for. I know that Mars is like reddish brownish. So maybe I can take my paintbrush. I'm gonna get my big fluffy one. Still has some blue on there. I'm gonna make sure I wash it off. I'm gonna take some red and put it in a clean part of my palette. Rinse my brush, grab some brown, and dip it in there. Ooh, that made kind of an orangey color. Maybe I wanna add a little bit more brown to it. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So for some of these planets, they don't really have any solid areas where they're all one color. So this one's more of getting to play around with where you want your colors to go. Kind of like your galaxy. I just put some red down there. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my brown and just kind of move it around because I want it to be a brownish, reddish planet. Maybe I'll take a little bit of that brown and also mix it in there. Because we know that Mars has iron oxide which makes it a rusty, reddish, brownish color. So I have another planet done, and I did get outside of my circle a little bit, but again, we're gonna cut that out later. So you're gonna do this with all of your planets. Saturn's gonna be a little difficult because it does have the rings, but what I want you to do is paint the rings on the outside and try to get it on the across it as well, um, and then we'll cut it out. I might actually do that with you guys right now. I'm gonna make it maybe a yellowish brown. I'm gonna take some yellow, put it in one of my cleaner parts, get some brown in there. Ooh, I don't like that brown, that's a gross brown. A little bit more yellow. Maybe let's put some more yellow over here, dip a tiny bit of that. Oh, that's better. That's a better yellowish color. Maybe a little bit more yellow. There we go. Then I'm going to paint in this ring shape. You can still see my pencil lines, but that's okay. So I'm painting these rings. There we go. So when I go to paint my actual planet, which might be a little bit more of this brownish, yellowish, orangish color, I can go around that ring and make sure I don't make it disappear because we want to be able to see that it has the rings going around it. And I'm not worrying about where my colors are going. The cool thing about watercolor is that they mix together. So you don't have to worry about making sure that it all looks nice because as it dries, the colors are gonna mix together anyway. So I'm just gonna play around with where my colors are on my paper and then see how it looks when it's dry. So now it's your turn to do the rest of your planets and we'll leave them to dry for next time. One more thing, friends, that I forgot to mention. On our planets like Jupiter that has the stripes that we know we can see in pictures, you can take your paint, even if it's still wet, and draw a line across your planet. And it's not gonna stay perfect, but neither are the lines on the planets. All right, so make sure you add some lines on your planets like Jupiter, and I'm probably gonna go back and add some more on Saturn.